Check this out. I bought it for my mum from the Commonwealth Games because I know she'll love it. I, and I just haven't posted it yet. I'm going to post it to her, so... <laughs> I'm going to go and get a card and, or letter or whatever. Envelope, that's the word. And post it. What's up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. We're about to head out, run some errands and go to oh, the gym. Today, we're actually going to be trying this new top which I got in the last My Protein haul. I hope it doesn't suck. Because if it does... Which I don't think it will, mind you. Oh, it's a bit big. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's, 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 it's a bit big. I got a large. Oh, yeah, it's, it's... It's not that bad. And it'll definitely shrink. Like, this will shrink a tad. Yeah, it'll do. It's nice and summery. I can take a picture of it. Alright, cool. Let's go. Hello? Right, gym session done. Now it's time to do the rounds to get the little ones, nieces and nephews, well nephews, ne nieces in this case, birthday cards. Cards chosen, but you know I've just realised I've come to Tesco because there's a post box here, I can send it straight from here. And I haven't got a pen. <laughs> Any chance there's a pen? Well, that was unnecessarily stressful. You ever had it where a stamp won't stick? Two of them? What a waste of stamps, for starters. And don't they cost like three quid each? <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we actually got some Pritt stick from the person that works behind the customer service desk. I was like, look, I'm going to level with you. I've never had this problem before. But my stamps won't stick, and she was like, no worries, I'll get a print stick for you. It's like it's a daily occurrence for her, it was really weird. But either way, back home to do some work. We've also got to do some pricing, for some future quotes, uh, and hopefully organise something for a bodybuilding competition coming very, very soon. It's exciting times in the LSJ media business. <laughs> that is that you can't fake a double meatball portion if they give you four meatballs they've got to give you eight whereas they can like they did with mine be quite stingy like this is a, a double chicken tikka full of veg as well and it's like salad. thin as yeah the salad yeah Got carrot in there broccoli doesn't feel or taste like double meat at all i'm a bit annoyed they begged them to give me enough lettuce like maybe the manager's in <laughs> you're just steaming Mm -hmm. Well, it's already hot because it's in that thing and then they freaking toast it. Mm. Yours even looks ni more nicely toasted. Mine's not even toasted that good. Mine's toasted good today. Yeah. I'm getting full. Oh, yeah? Mm. Do you want it? Yeah. If you're not going to eat it, yeah. Oh, it is hot. Mm -hmm. Holy fing <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. This has got coffee in it and I'm very sad. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. mention coffee. Mm. Nice. Mm. Oh, good. I love a chocolate milk. <laughs> oh. Hot, oh, innit? Yeah. 
You can't really get a bad chocolate milk though. Pump full of sugar and it's a nice chocolate taste. So really, like, do you really in, like eating the way that they do, sort of thing? And I'm like, yeah. Well, if you want to see some real progress, you go. You, that's what you got to do. I'm like, well, it's not though, is it? I'm like, I'm doing just fine. You're not a bodybuilder. I know that. Just <laughs> because you enjoy the gym and lift heavy weights doesn't mean you're a bodybuilder. Yes, indeed. And on that note, cheers to our chocolate milkshake. Yes. It's 200 and something calories. And our what double meat subways. What a waste of carbs. Enjoy your sandwich, Tropicana, and smoke your bacon crisps. <laughs> oh, well, nice. Mm. Total waste of carbs, though. Oh, I need the bathroom destroyer. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. It's not that sad. That's really sad. So Ella's just stolen my club card points, but we've bought these. The next thing we bought is some floor. Floor? Yeah. Flooring. <laughs> we just What's bought some floor. Some floor, isn't it? <laughs> Going on the floor. Just makes sense for what we uh, like use this room for, you know? So it's not gonna fill the whole room, but we just like want a little bit, you know? So. I'm going to set this up and I'm sure it's going to look really pretty. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, you see the title of today's video. My new job. I'm actually becoming a floor fitter. Flooring specialist. It's some floor. Yeah. If you need flooring, I'm, I'm, I'm your guy. Ella sells kitchens, my dad fits them. You need the floor. Washing's done. <laughs> we literally waited for like 20 minutes for that to finish so that we could actually film this clip. Um, no, right, okay, allow me to introduce you guys to NFM UK. They were the promoters, um, for the Ultimate Fitness Classic, right? So you guys remember Femi competing, and Tim competing, I kind of showed a lot of their journey on here as well, but also in particular on the UFB page, right? Um, they are the promoters of that competition, but they're also the promoters just overall of GBO, which is the Global Bodybuilding Organization, right? It's a one of many kind of federations, if you like, um, and I am gonna be doing I was, gonna, I was looking for my camera to grab, but you're filming on it. <laughs> I'm going to be doing the videography uh, at the upcoming shows. So we've got one in a couple of weeks uh, and one in like five or six weeks. Um, and that's it for now. That's pretty much kind of we're coming towards the end of the bodybuilding season. But the Ultimate Fitness had a, an event last weekend. I've produced a bunch of stuff on the workshop. Uh, so basically, go and check out the um, page. Go and check out the UFB page. You'll be able to find them easily through there. Uh, the media page, obviously, I'll be putting a, put a ton of stuff uh, of my own on there over the next kind of day or two. So when you see this video, there'll be a ton more stuff up there uh, from the... Uh, why can't I talk? <laughs> from the Ultimate Fitness Classic, there'll be stuff that I haven't yet posted on there. Um, that will be on there by that point in time, or it should be anyway. If it's not, drop a comment and remind me to post. So the way it's gonna work is basically for competitors, it's gonna be two packages. One is going to be called a stage package where you get your entire kind of um, time on stage recorded and all that kind of stuff um and you get other, if you're getting a trophy you then you'll get that in there as well like you know woo, or, you know the other package will be called the show day package where i basically follow a few select people because i'm only one man i can only do it for a certain amount of people i'll follow you around for the whole day backstage all that kind of stuff alongside getting all the on stage stuff as well uh, and that'll be called the show day package that's the plan as of right now um but my new job is essentially me just expanding my business to to bodybuilding competitions so it's really cool uh, really exciting. I've already made a bunch of content, which again, you can check out uh, on all the various different pages. So very, very exciting to be an LSJ team member right about now. And if you're competing, I'll see you there. Hey, do you want a gummy? Yeah, well. I was just wondering if you wanted one, because if you do, you can use code LSJ at checkout and make the most of the mad sales on my protein right now. So do you want one?
You look nice. <laughs> so this and oh I just dropped them both. What is going on? It must be close to dinner time if I'm dropping everything. I get clumsy when I'm hungry. My dad's watching this going. Yeah, he does. Multivitamins, along with glucosamine, krill oil. I think I'm gonna take vitamin C as well. Maybe D. They are among the vitamins that I'm gonna start taking again on a daily basis because I am slacking. One of the things that I've actually never done is take creatine, right? And a lot of you probably just, oops, a lot of you probably just gasped like, ah! but Liam, you work for my protein and you've never taken any creatine. I know, right? It's kind of a weird thing, but it's just how I've never taken it. I am rubbish, and I mean rubbish, at remembering to do something like that every single day. Something that you need to take or something that you need to do every single day, i.e. my exercises that I've been given from the doctor. Not done them every single day, even though I do them, supposed to do them at the same time as when I brush my teeth. Creatine is the same and vitamins are the same. I have never actually taken them all for a consistent well, I've never taken, I think I've taken some creatine in another supplement. If a pre-workout has had creatine in it, I've taken it then, but it's no use unless you're going to take it five milligrams, uh, five grams every day. There's no point, right? So I've never really taken it on a consistent basis. Is that something that you would like to see me do? Bearing in mind we're going to be dieting now, so we're going to be reducing body weight. Along with that could reduce strength. We'll see if creatine could maybe counteract that. I don't know. We shall see. Just a video idea for the future, maybe in 30 days if I start taking it or something like that. We'll see. Let me know. Is that something that you would like to see? Because if it is, I'll do it. If not, then I won't bother. But either way, that is how we're going to be currently expanding my business. That is my new job as such. Um, really cool, really exciting. Hopefully you're going to be making a few upgrades in preparation for it as well, which also means upgrades for this. Very, very exciting. Make sure to be following all the relevant pages, in particular the media page. If I have not yet posted, again, drop a comment, let me know, remind me, please, because I'm really bad at, believe it or not, posting my own content on my own page, but I need to get better at it because it's essentially a, a portfolio. But go ahead and follow that. Um, if you are new here, that is my business. That is what I do. Very excited to be expanding it because um, it's quite literally how I pay my bills. Obviously, I have my MyProtein stuff, but I also have the media business as well, and both of them kind of combined are my two main sources, if you like, of, um, of income. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.